Oh, hello again, everybody. I got to do a quick show today. Got to move fast. I'm really not supposed to be where I am. I'm at Hoops Reservoir. Uh, those of you in Newcastle County, Wilmington, Delaware, may be well aware of Hoops Reservoir. Got the big dam behind me. No trespassing, lots of signs. I tried to talk to somebody. I sent an email to, to some to the city of Wilmington. I figured I'd give it a shot. So I'm going to move pretty quick here and get out of here. Okay, uh, I'm not doing any damage, uh, I'm not doing any harm, but it is what it is. I think you guys will appreciate this. So I'm going to move real fast. The city of Wilmington built the 135 high, foot high dam for the reservoir in 1932 during the Great Depression to provide a reserve water supply for the city's expanding population. Hoops Reservoir functions as Delaware's largest water storage reservoir. In August 1932, the City of Wilmington Board of Water Commissioners completed Hoops Reservoir as a public works project. The city owns the dam, the reservoir, and much of the surrounding 2.5 square mile watershed as parkland. The capacity of the reservoir is 2 billion gallons, and the reservoir covers 191 acres. The concrete masonry gravity dam is 135 foot tall, 970 feet long, 90 feet wide at the base, and 19 feet thick at the crest, making it the largest and only concrete gravity dam in the state of Delaware. The primary source of water for the reservoir is drawn through a 42-inch concrete pipeline from Brandywine Creek at the Wills Pumping Station, that's that building right there, um, situated just upstream from the Van Buren Street Bridge, sorry, that's another pumping station, it goes to a different pumping station. I'm so nervous. Hoops Reservoir provides three functions for the citizens of Wilmington and Newcastle County. Number one, the primary goal function is to provide normal and emergency storage of raw untreated water for the city of Wilmington during drought or spills along the Brandywine Creek. Wilmington gets its primary water from Brandywine Creek, the waterworks downtown. The second function results from an agreement of the city to release water from Hoops Reservoir into Red Clay Creek. Uh, during drought for use by United Water Delaware, an investor-owned utility serving customers of unincorporated Newcastle County. And number three, the reservoir serves a third function by releasing water to maintain a minimum flow in the red clay and white clay creeks for stream habitat, fisheries, uh, fish propagation, salt front maintenance purposes. Since Hoops Reservoir is the only major reservoir stor reserve storage facility in northern Delaware, it was utilized quite heavily for the three functions, most recently during the droughts of 1995 and 1999. The city's contractors completed the work on June 4th, 1932, the date of the dedication ceremony. It had a huge crowd on hand to view one of Wilmington's great civic triumphs. The Old Mill Dam, as it was first called, was filled to overflowing uh, by April 17th of 1933. Uh, right during the, the close to the end of the depression, the middle of the depression. The city named the project, let me turn my notes, Hoops Memorial Reservoir in the memory of Colonel E. M. Hoops, member of the City Water Commission who died in 1931 after construction had started. The construction cost uh, of Hoops Reservoir was three million, thirty million in today's dollars. It took three years to complete the city later designed Valley Garden Park adjacent to the reservoir. The reservoir was open to the park for citizens at a foot trail steps that led to a war memorial and monument uh, at the viewing platform. Van just went by. I'm going to go quick here. Uh, at the crest of the reservoir dam, Hoos Reservoir uh, and impoundment became the largest lake in the hilly Piedmont of Delaware and is widely regarded as Delaware's one of most peaceful and picturesque spots. In 1983, the city rehabilitated Hoops Reservoir Dam by drilling 54 post-tension steel anchors to meet the stability requirements of a 500-year flood and a Class 1 earthquake. Today, Hoops Reservoir is no longer open to the public. Uh, its managed primary purpose is water reservoir, and uh, you can't get around here. Now, that has led to all kinds of urban legends, especially about fishing. I have heard stories, and I never tried this. I have heard stories for years of guys that caught monster fish in Hoops Reservoir. I guess you got to get dropped off. There's really no place to, to park around here. 
uh, you get dropped off, you go fish, and, and there are st uh, big fish tails, stories of gigantic fish that people say they caught around here. There are also pictures out there from before they closed this, when people used to dive off the dam, go swimming, go walking around here. This was open public park, uh, you know, through most of the 20th century. Uh, and then later was closed, I'd say in the 70s. But somebody, I'm sure some of you have pictures and some of you have comments. Please put them on here and tell, tell everybody what you know, what you remember, what you've heard about Hoops Reservoir. So the dam is behind me. The lake is behind the dam. Beautiful area. And now listen, I got to get out of here, all right? This is the most nervous you've ever seen me. My, my heart's pounding because you're not supposed to be here. And I'm not trying to hurt nobody, right? But a nice piece of history here. I thought we'd, we'd, we'd capture it on a nice day. So take it easy and uh, enjoy this video. I got more stuff down the road, okay? Take it easy, everybody. Goodbye. And now we've got to shut her down. Bye, everybody. Boom.